One guy that barely missed that list is Leon Washington, who's out of the Jacksonville area. He's now in the NFL with the Jets and is one of the many talented running backs our next guest has coached over the years. Joining me on the phone is Florida State head coach Bobby Bowden. Bobby, this week's show has a focus on running backs, and you've coached so many good ones. What characteristic do you look for in high school running backs? Well, you're looking for that great talent. Uh, the size is varied. There's been years here where we had – uh, small backs. Now, by, by that I mean under 190. You know, like Warwick done. Now, Travis was about 195. And uh, then there's the years where we had big backs like Greg Jones, 245, 50 pounds. So we just, you know, we just try to get the best we can get and then build around what they can do. Bobby, let's talk recruiting philosophy in the state of Florida. The talent in the south region goes to Miami, we can assume. The central part of the state goes to the Florida Gators. And your program has always cashed in on the recruits in the northern portion of the state of Florida. Now, would you say that's a valid statement? You know, probably through the years it is. Uh, but, 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 again, it's not like all of them do. You know, there's always some Miami guys that want to get away. There's always some Tallahassee guys that want to get away. There's also some Orlando guys that want to go south or north. You know, but, but really I think the thinking generally is like you're saying. They're more likely to stay to their closest area of school. All right, Bobby, let's say I'm a top 100 running back right now, a recruit, and I'm, I'm red hot. If Florida State is recruiting me, how will that process work? Well, first thing, the great, the great ones are not hard to find. You know, the great ones, they just, they're, they're there. You see them. Everybody sees them. Uh, the, the, the job is to, to evaluate that guy that maybe it's not as great, but he, but he ends up great, you know. And, uh, but what we do, we send our coaches out to visit every high school in the state of Florida. We also cover a lot of South Georgia because we're only 20 miles away from Georgia. And then we'll visit those schools in the spring and try to find out who their outstanding prospects are for the next year. The coach then, when the NCAA allows, will make contact with him, will call him, will visit with his coach, try to find out everything he can about him off the field as well as his, his ability. Then you try to bring him in for a visit where he can stay 48 hours on your campus and uh, show him your school. And then there's a head football coach now. We're only allowed to go visit one time. And so sometime during, usually in January, I'll go to his home and visit the, the, the player and his parents, you know, and you try to sell them that they'll, they'll benefit more from your school, uh, playing at your school, than they would some other school. That's, that's what it's about. How has Jimbo Fisher's coach-in-waiting title affected recruiting? Has it had an impact at all? It's helped. You know, it's been a help. You, you know, you get my age, which is 78, you know, the kids, the kids all wonder. And then, of course, you, all your opponents are, 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 are trying to tell the kid that you're not going to be around, you know. And so you're always having to fight that time, time schedule. So what we did was named a successor so they know that when I do step out, here's, here's the guy that will take my place. And, it, 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 hey, it's worked real good. Bobby Bowden, believe me when I say this, if I was good at football at all, I would have been a seminal. You're the oh. man, Coach. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> we would love to have had you, I'll tell you that. He would have loved to have me. I love Bobby Bowden. You know, his personality is a big reason why he's had so much success at Florida State, right? Absolutely fantastic. And that last question was very good because I think Joe Paterno's had that problem by not having a coach in waiting. It's helped Purdue with Danny Hope coming in next year, and it's definitely hurt, helped Florida State over the last couple of years. Jimbo Fisher is one of the great recruiters nationally. Yeah, Jimbo Fisher. Hopefully he can carry on the legacy of Bobby Bowden who's won so many football games for the Seminoles.